Yo, how's it going guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new Locals feature match. Everybody, here we are in round one for the week. I know it's a Tuesday um, and uh, the round one match should have gone up yesterday, but um, kind of a, a little bit uh, a little bit behind this week. Being a little lazy if I'm being totally honest, right? Um, Elden Ring got me uh, acting up. What can I say? Um, definitely haven't been staying up till 4, 4.30 a.m. playing that game. Anyways, we're moving on. Uh, we have Dart Magician for Sky Striker here. We have the one and only Mark Magician on the right. So, I mean, this is not your average uh, Dark Magician player here. I'll tell you what, folks. So, we're in for a treat. And as he resolves his Dark Magic Circle, um, let's take a look at the poll results. Uh, I asked you guys who you thought would win. About 2.4 thousand votes. Um, Sky Striker in a massive landslide lead at 76% of the vote. And Dark Magician taking the rest. Um, not a shocking outcome, but, uh, my man Charlie here is kind of okay with the strikers, so we'll see if he can take this one. Um, he is heavily favored, but I don't know, man, Mark Magician. That's what we call him, Marky, Marky Mark Magician. Uh, we're gonna see him special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal and set to and pass. Alright, so a formidable end board here. I was kind of expecting Dragoon with, uh, Eternal Soul, but not quite. And then we're going to see him lead with Engage. So good. Always hard opening Engage. Getting access to Ray here, most important. Getting into the Hayate, Kagari, Shizuku, all that stuff. We're going to see an Afterburner here. Getting extra spells into the Grave. And that is going to blow up that super rare Red MD. And then Normal Summoning Ray, linking it here into a Hayate. Um, one thing I noticed here is, I don't know why he didn't go Battle Phase first. Um, with the Ray, swing 15, and then tag into Hayate, then another 15, just to drop him a little lower. Um, don't think it really makes too big of a difference here, though. Um, maybe an extra 1,500 life points could have been kind of helpful, but either way, we're going to see him swing with a Hayate. And Hayate, of course, is going to go ahead and dump a Sky Striker card from the deck to the Grave. And we'll see what he's going to go ahead and opt to send here. Of course, Engage is already in the Graveyard, so that makes his options, I think, a little bit easier here. Um, deciding on what to send, looking at possibly Eagle Booster there on top of the deck. Let's see what he decides to send. He's going to go ahead and dump the Eagle Booster, probably just to get that in rotation. Um, very, very strong card, helping your links to go through. We're going to see him go into the Kagari. Kagari is going to grab back and engage. Who is shocked? Literally no one. And then we're going to see him link into the Shizuku. And does he have one of the best Sky Striker spells ever printed in hand? We shall see. Currently semi-limited, this Sky Striker spell. Um, we'll see if he's got it. Only two spells in Grave currently, so... Uh, Art Magician player... Uh, there it is! There it is. You guys seem to like this last time. There it is, Sky Striker Fusion Destiny. Sending Sky Striker Dasher, Sky Striker Ace Dasher, and Sky Striker Ace Celestial to the Grave to go ahead and summon the Sky Striker Enforcer Phoenix. And setting one... And looks like he might just go ahead and proceed to the end phase here. Just kind of holding that engage for the next turn. Probably just realizing that, you know, he can kind of play the slow game against this deck. It is a bit of a control-based deck. We're going to see him activate Soul Servant. Uh, which I believe allows you to stack a card to the top of your deck. And then you can also banish it from the graveyard to draw a card, I believe. Um, and I don't believe banishing is cost. Um, so we're going to see him fire Bell on that, and I think they had a bit of a ruling question here, but I think it's just because Soul Servant uh, lists an effect that includes, you know, banishing from the graveyard, that he can go ahead and actually negate that with Bell. Same reason why you can, like, Bell a Nadir Servant, because you technically can add back from Grave as well, um, and it includes that effect. Um, there are some other examples that I can't think of off the top of my head right now, but either way, we're still going to see End Phase DPE. Popping an Eternal Soul, and then Shizuku is still in the end phase, adding a Widow Anchor, and we'll see him pass turn. So he has Engage, he has Widow Anchor, and DPE set up uh, with the uh, you know Sky Striker, a Celestial and Dasher in Grave for next turn for that Sky Striker Pot of Greed. And uh, we'll see if our Mark Magician can crack the board here. A Dragoon would be pretty nice right about now. Um, because uh, Dragoon is kind of an FTK against the Sky Striker deck. Can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. Omni Negate. 
they're pretty much, you know, their only out to it is access code talker, but if you're smart with your Dragoon Negate, good luck getting to an access code um, while there's a Dragoon on board. So we're going to see him normal summon Black Metal and link into the Rocket Tracer, triggering Black Metal here to go ahead and search, I think, a Red Eyes card or Red Eyes monster. Not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've seen this card. It looks like it adds that Red Eyes card. Um, so he's going to go ahead and search Red Eyes Fusion, which, uh, again, I don't know the exact text of Black Metal Dragon, um, but I will go ahead and pull it up real quick. I'm pretty sure it's just Black Metal. Um, yeah, Black Metal Dragon. Um, can add Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand. This card sent from the Field of the Grave. So you just search Red Eyes Fusion off that. Um, it looks like he will go ahead and pop... Uh, the Striker Dragon there in the end phase is he can't activate the Red Eyes Fusion this turn because of its pretty hefty restriction. Um, so you will go ahead and pass turn, putting our Sky Striker player on a bit of a clock here because next turn Dragoon is coming out and there's not going to be a whole lot you can do about that unless he's got the Ash in hand. And um, yeah, but I mean, he's kind of in the driver's seat right now. Can't activate that Engage that we know is in hand just yet because of DPE, but he can go ahead and pop dpe and the dark magic circle to go ahead and free up those zones for an engage and this engage will net him an extra card because he does have three or more engrave of course going to go ahead and grab the multi-roll basically your continuous spell book of judgment and this will help start retrieving those spells back in grave and uh i think one of the main reasons he probably went and dumped that uh eagle booster a little bit earlier in the turn thinking a bit of a head as you kind of have to do when you're playing striker We'll see him activate the multi-roll. And then we're going to see him link the Shizuku into a Kagari. Kagari going to go ahead and add back the engage. Engage effect. And yeah, this is where things get rolling here. Um, and where I don't think our Sky or our Dark Magician player really has a chance of coming back from this point. The engine is so well established here. Resolving engage twice here in a turn with the draw to just going plus a billion. Normal summoning Rose. And going into the battle phase, swinging for 15, and then another 19 from that Kagari, since he does have four spells in Grave, so it'll take a total of uh, 3,900 damage here, dropping him down to 36, I believe. And uh, gonna go ahead and link off the Starlight Rose. I think he went ahead and multi-rolled away the Rose, and then linked off the Kagari into another Shizuku. I think that's what happened there. Um... And then end phase, we're going to go ahead and see him search here uh, off of the Shizuku. Go ahead and grab a Sky Striker card that is not in his graveyard or does not match the same name. And uh, then I think he can go ahead and multi-roll here in the end phase to go ahead and set some things back. Um, he's going to go ahead and add the Hornet Drones. Um, Shark Cannon, I was going to say, doesn't really do too much here. This is not really a... Unless Dark Magician was in the graveyard, I would say Shark Cannon would be pretty strong because you can keep him off Eternal Soul, and we're just going to see him grab back the, the Eagle Booster off of that past turn. And we should see DPE returning here in the standby phase. Sky Striker, Ace, Phoenix, Enforcer. And uh, we'll see if our Dark Magician player can break this board. We know he has Red Eyes Fusion, um, which... If it resolves, is going to be pretty difficult to deal with. We're going to see Imperm get activated here. And we're going to see him chain DPE. Targeting itself and the face-up Imperm. Which I believe is a legal play since it's still going to the graveyard. You couldn't attempt to bounce something like the Imperm back to the hand since it is designated for the grave. We're going to see him activate Red Eyes Fusion afterwards. Targeting the... Uh, Shizuku, and now it can also not be destroyed by battle, and is also unaffected by card effects because of the additional effect of the Eagle Booster that will also get banished as it was set back off of multi-roll. And then we're going to see this Red Eyes Fusion resolve here, dumping the new alternate art, 25th anniversary, Dark Magician, of course. Mark Magician here with the ice. And dumping the new gold rare, uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and also summoning the Dark Dragoon here. So... We're going to see him banish Soul Servant now. We'll go ahead and draw a card. Kind of a nice little uh, little draw one there. Only one card in hand, too, so the Dragoon is kind of limited here as to what it can do in terms of negates. But he does get to pick up an extra card here, which will certainly help with that. 
And, I mean, this is where things could slowly turn out of our Sky Striker player's favor here. I do see a Nibiru in hand, but that's not going to be very helpful against this particular matchup. We're going to see Illusion of Chaos activate now. And that is going to go ahead and search. Basically, Magician Soul is here. Um, insane new piece of support for the deck, and you can go ahead and stack a card to the top, I believe, or staff, stack the uh, Illusion uh, back, and then we'll go to the top, adding the Magician Souls for follow-up, which is a pretty strong piece of follow-up here, and also the synergy that's just added with it being in a Dark Magician deck on top of it is also really nice. And I think we're going to see him go Battle Phase here. Um, Dragoon attacking over the Shizuku. Uh, he'll take a little bit of damage there, but of course the Shizuku will not die by battle because of that Eagle Booster we saw earlier in the turn. Um, and the Dragoon is being lowered by, I think, just a couple hundred attack points because of the Shizuku. And then standby phase here for Striker. We're going to see DPE come back. And, you know, like I said, Dragoon is a very, very tough thing to deal with. They're either getting a massive Shizuku on board to lower it down to the point where something like DPE can run over it. And I guess, actually... The combination of DPE plus Shizuku here, dropping it by 400, and then dropping it by another three or 400, um, probably could have gone into the battle phase it got over. Because, I mean, right now it's currently at 2600 since it hasn't negated anything. So we're going to see Shizuku go ahead and add back the engage, or uh, Kagari add back the engage, rather, normal summon Ash Blossom, and we're going to see that access code line happen right here. Halka Fibrax, will it resolve? This would be a pretty good thing to go ahead and negate if you're the Dark Magician player. Uh, it looks like we will see it negate, but there's a Forbidden Droplet, so I guess it didn't matter anyways. Because um, I'm pretty sure he could have just outed it in the battle phase with maybe Shizuku and, and DP, but we're going to see that Halk resolve, and uh, that signals the end of the game, and uh, Sky Striker taking game one after a little bit of a grind. We're 11 minutes in, 12 minutes into this one, so. And, uh, as we get started in game two, of course, a quick shout-out to uh, our sponsors, Imperium Duelist, TCG Player, The Coldest Water, guys. Check out the ways you can support the channel. Uh, at the links below using my discount code at Imperium or my affiliate links to Coldest or TCG. Again, check that out in the, in the in description below. Really appreciate it. Um, additional way to go ahead and support. And uh, in game two here, uh, we're going to see, um, I mean, probably not the best opening. I mean, yeah, probably not the best opening here unless it's just Red Eyes Fusion Pass, but I know the deck can do a little bit more after Red Eyes Fusion. Um, yeah, so he's going to go ahead and... Uh, dump and uh, getting a little ahead of himself here he's got the illusion of chaos in hand so it's going to stack first but also yeah you got to remember to summon your dragoon of course so illusion of chaos will go uh uninterrupted here and take a look at the juniors like i had to out one game one and now i got to out another one oh boy um can he do it two games in a row though that's the real question so we'll go ahead and stack back to the top of the deck i see a copy of eternal soul imperm as well and Soul Servant. Pretty good card to have here in this scenario. Only, like... If only the Dark Magician deck had a way to summon Red Eyes Fusion without... Or uh, summon Dark Dragoon. I don't know why I keep calling it Dark Dragoon. Just Dragoon without Red Eyes Fusion. So you could still, like, summon Magician Souls and stuff. Um, actually be a lot better. Because, like... Oh, and he finds the... That, I mean, that's a really good... That's a really good card to have there, the Soul Servant. Go ahead and stack the Dark Magic Circle, and then draw into it. Um, and then we know he has Eternal Soul Set with the Dark Magician Engraved. So you're no longer just playing through a Dragoon Negate. You're also playing through a Banish from Dark Magic Circle. Um, and you also have the Revive of the, uh, the Dark Magician off of the Eternal Soul, which cannot be widow anchored uh, because it is a normal monster and you cannot negate a monster's effect if it does not have an effect to negate yeah it's kind of weird but that's just how it works so widow anchor not being a too great card here I almost being like completely dead i want to say you can't widow anchor the dragoon you can't widow anchor the dark magic uh, the dark magician uh, or the dark spellion if we're playing uh, master duel so we're going to see him lead with Engage here. Opening Engage both games um, in game one here. I wonder if it was the sixth card or if it was in the opening five. Two games in a row. You'd love to see it. So we'll see him add the Eagle Booster. And, I mean, this is one of those cases that we're just having drop. Like, I feel like maybe you don't side out e or um, Widow Anchor completely, but just having drop it is just a better uh, Widow Anchor here. I'm just going to deal with the Dragoon, whereas Widow Anchor does not. So we're going to see him go Kagari, attempt to add back the Engage. That's going to be attempted to be negated. 
by the Dragoon, pitching an Imperm. And uh, he'll go ahead and chain Eagle Booster, just so we can go ahead and get back that Engage. And probably fire it off again. So 1600 Kagari here, staring down a still 3000 attack Dragoon, because it did not destroy the card it was attempting to negate. It has to destroy it to gain that 1000 attack. So we'll see him fire and engage. And we'll see what he is going to go ahead and search here. Widow Anchor really not being too helpful. It probably wishes he could go ahead and search the Sky Striker Forbidden Droplet. The Sky Striker Maneuver Forbidden Droplet, whatever you want to call it. Adding the Hornet Drone. We'll see him go into Kagari. And then activate the drone. And then linking the drone token into Kaina. And then linking Kaina and Shizuku, or Hayate rather, into Predator Plant, Verte, Anaconda. Um, so he's going to go ahead and activate the effect here. Well, not even activate the effect. We're going to see an effect of Eternal Soul on Summon. And this is going to attempt to revive that Dark Magician from the Grave. And if he has Ghost Bell here, it would be a pretty damn good time to use it. But he's got Shark Cannon. That's going to go ahead and banish the, the Dark Magician out of the Grave. And uh, now he does not have to worry about that non-target. Well, not non-target, but a banish there. That would have actually been devastating there if he had lost his anaconda after going that far into the play so we'll see him pay 2000 to summon a less powerful fusion monster the dpe and also dumping the bricks with it i think he had the celestial in hand that sky striker uh ace celestial and yeah dragoon still not being able to be dealt with here which is rather unfortunate um, I mean, you could pop Eternal... I think popping Eternal Soul is probably the best thing to do here. Just because you don't want that, um... That kind of revival effect available every turn. Especially when you know he has Magician's Soul as next turn. Picking up a Magician's Rod as well. We'll see our Sky Trick player set to and pass. And there's the Magician's Souls. And, uh, yeah. Looks like he's just gonna go ahead and scoop there. Uh, it's because he does have access to, um... Dark Magic Circle still, which can banish the DP, and if he tries to use DP, he can just nate with Dragoon. It'll probably be game there anyways, so... We're into a Game 3 situation. We're gonna see him Normal Summon Rose, Link into Shizuku, Set 3, End Phase Pass. We're gonna see Sky Striker. I'll probably go first here in Game 3, um, which kind of makes sense. You don't really want to try to play into a Dragoon again. Uh, as you can see, that was kind of rough last game, especially having to burn all those resources to go for that DPE play, which really didn't pan out too well. Um, because Dragoon simply just does not care. I mean, if you're looking at both of these monsters on paper, I think Dragoon is just pound for pound a better card. Um, so we're going to see, uh, him go for, uh, Kagari. And then Kagari's going to make Kaina. And then we're going to see him activate Summon Limit here. So now this all makes sense. Siding the Floodgates, uh, here in Game 3 to kind of slow the deck down. Even though... Dark Magician really doesn't seem like a deck you kind of want to side Summon Limited against. Only because, you know, Red Eyes Fusion is like the most they're ever going to be doing on their turn. We're going to see a Cosmic Cyclone on the Dark Magic Circle. So I think he was trying to go for an Anaconda play there, which is what it looked like using the uh, whole Widow Ang or uh, Hornet Jones as a one card, uh, you know, Dragoon, if you will, which is insane just because how good Sky Striker cards are. And we're going to see another Cosmic Cyclone hitting the Red Eyes Trap, um, which I actually don't know the exact name of it. And then we're going to see him pass. We'll go into Hayate. Hayate will swing directly for 15. There's his one summon. He has one more. So we'll swing for 15 and be able to deal. Uh, we'll deal damage, which will allow him to send here. He's going to go ahead and dump a Widow Anchor. And I see a Hornet Drones and an Ash in hand for our Dark Magician player. And Ash is going to go ahead and hit that. Uh, engage, no shocker there. Kagari, add back, engage, engage again. He says, okay, fine, you can go ahead and ask. It's fine, I'm just going to go ahead and add it back and search anyways. Let's we'll see what he's going to decide here. Adding another Widow Anchor. Probably just trying to protect against Anaconda. Probably trying to protect against, you know, Magician Souls. Um, we'll just see him pass on that. Um, I feel like maybe you'd want to put one of those Widow Anchors in the back line just in case... But we'll see uh, how this is going to pan out here. I think it's also getting close to time to at this point. So if both players are looking a little frantic. That's why. 
because this video is sped up a little bit and we're about almost at the 20 minute mark 150 percent speed do the math and we're gonna see our dark magician player lead with a ice dragon's prison that's gonna summon hayate and banish both the hayate and the kagari that's one summon though importantly for our dark magician player um, so that's gonna count towards summon limit. Then we're gonna see Magician Souls here dumping a Dark Magician. No shocker there. And he'll summon the Dark Magician instead of summoning the Magician Souls, the other effect of Magician Souls here. And uh, this will be a decent amount of damage here. Uh, about 4,000 damage in total, which is really helpful in a situation like this when time is coming down uh, to the wire here. We cannot link off here. Can't even make Link Spider because, again, he did summon off that Ice Dragon's Prison, being reminded of that here, so we will and pass turn. Widow Anchor on the Kagari. He will take, or on the kind of, he will take it, link into Kagari, add back, engage, engage to go ahead and search here. Really coming down to the wire here. And I mean, it's it's really looking difficult to out this, uh, this Dark Magician here because he cannot Widow Anchor it. Um, and normal summoning effect failure is the second summon, his own summon limit coming against him here. And you hate to see that. Uh, it is what it is. So. Uh, we'll see Dark Magician actually taking this match. A large majority of you guys incorrect in the voting. Uh, Mark Magician is just insane. What can we say? And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of my content, check out one of the videos popping up on the bottom of the screen right now. And last but not least, a huge shout out goes to our Divine Level channel members. And they are Tweeter0226, Ponystart, Cadillacs84, Keith Stidgers, and Black Ninja Money. Thank you guys so much, as always, for your extremely generous support of the channel.